Hello, Mr. Horse here again. It's good to see you. Um, this is going to be guitar exercise 3.7, the third of the four corner subset. So, um, so we are actually for this one and uh, 3.8. We are going up. Against, oh, you know, I mean, it's uphill. I mean, against the gravity. You know, I just don't like this. I like, you know, this is too thin. I mean, it's. And you know, it's a really, really good exercise for your little finger. I mean, you know, see, because you in in all four chords here, you use the little finger to do the pull on. So I mean, you know, you gotta have really. It's gonna, you know, help it become really strong, right? Anyway, so I was talking about going up, right, against. So, the different, one big difference between this one and the previous two, the connecting points are different, totally different. You know, uh, 3.5, 3.6, the connecting points are up here, right? Okay? Right, okay? Right, yeah, but, yeah, it's hard to get those you know high notes there without a cutaway. But so the connecting points are over here because now we are starting from the lower end, going up, coming down. So the connecting points are down here. So it's you know in the it's the, the lowest chord of each progression. So the three five. This is one open right. So we have E minor and eleven. We have the E minor six. E minor seventh. That's what. What's that? No, this is no. This is E minor, sorry. E minor at 11, this is E minor 7. So we have two E minor. This is two, these two are the same. One octave. So because the connecting points are here, you know, it's really helpful to Play that passage, okay? Because you are going to do this, and you're gonna do this, and you're gonna connect, go back. Well, that's the next one. Right now, right now the connecting sequence is this. So that is a good exercise. Now, so the exercise itself, we'll go go up. I'm gonna play slow. I'm gonna play slow. Right 
ver. Now, let me do one more time. Like that. That's better. So that is uh, 3.7. So what do you need to work on? Of course you need to work on, you know, the vertical connection, right? I mean, but that, I already devote, you know, uh, one guitar exercise to each, to each you know, vertical. that you're gonna continue to work on, right? to work on that working on that continue work on okay back and forth of course make make, make it really good this is gonna you know I mean help you to work on your Think of strength. I'm especially used to it. Well, you know, that's crazy guitar. That's really not. I mean, it's just a lot of noise. You know, you're, you're not really playing uh, music. You're not producing music. Just a lot of annoying, uh, unpleasant noise. Well, the thing is, yeah, I mean, I, I, th th this, this is not very pleasant, but I mean, you know, it, it will help you in the future to produce beautiful. Amazing music. So I just have to tolerate. I mean, for a while. Last thing I want to say, you know, talk about. Okay, well, this is. Now, those are power chords. Yes, but they are inverted. I don't know if you know. If your teacher, you know, ever told you about. Okay, well. Yes, they are power chords, right? One five, only two, you know, I mean, it's one five, there's no third, but the thing is, you know, it's inverted, switched. This is really high one, B, 
E. It's not E B. So inverted power chord. That's what we are doing. And also lower, you know, uh, the uh, the key, you know, by one and a half steps from the original G minor to make it E minor. For a lot of different reasons, I will explain later in the future. I'll see you next time.